Hi, I'm Nirmal and today we discuss about uh, modularity, definition and advanced stages. So in operation management. So first of all, we discuss about what is modularity. Modularity is a degree to which a system component may be separated and uh, recombined. However, it can be used in different context and its definition changes accordingly. For example, in biology, it's a concept that organism or metabolic pathways are composed of modules. In nature, modularity refers to the construction of a cellular organism by joining together standardized units to form larger compositions. In Cognitive science, the idea of modularity of mind holds that the mind is composed of independent, closed domain specific processing modules, etc. But here we will be um, concentrating on modularity in operation management, which refers to an engineering technique that builds larger system by combining smaller subsystems. So. Uh, the growing concern for the environment has surrounds a great interest in environmentally aware design and manufacturing amongst designers worldwide introducing modularity in consumer products can help bring multiple manufacturers come together creating differentiated assembly line that can decrease the production time while keeping the cost of productions at minimum and providing multi-faced products to the consumers. So to infuse uh, modularity in the manufacturing of products, uh, it is necessary to understand the various manufacturing processes that each attribute of each component has to go through the design elements of the product are then uh, split up and assigned to modules following a formal plan or setting that leads to the formations of two types of modules one that are hidden meaning that the changes implemented on uh, to them do not affect the other modules and the other being visible meaning that they uh, comprise of certain design rules that the designer of the hidden modules must follow for them to function together. Through such modular products, a range of alternatives are offered that enable designers to replace earlier inferior solutions with the later superior solutions without affecting any change in the assembly lines that the product has to go through further reducing cost and redesigning. So now we discuss about definition of modularity. The, to begin with the, the definition of modularity, the design description of IBM's main frame uh, computer offers few interesting hints. The design of IBM's 360 main frame computer was truly modular it was designed to have various parts called modules the modules were designed and uh, produced independently uh, of one another but when combined they work together uh, seamlessly as a result all uh, system build out of system 360 d module could run the same software so further new modules could be added to the system and old ones upgraded without rewriting code or disrupting the operations. In the above mentioned examples, some of the parts are underlined to identify the importance of the critical features related to modularity. So firstly, modules are designed and produced independently one of the main advantages in the modular organizations of design activities 
is the independent in which the modules design a complex systems being separated into individual modules means that these can be placed into separate specialized teams and then designed and produced independently. Here these terms or teams can work autonomously both inside or outside the company. So due to the structure of modularity that allows information hiding now coming towards the sentence they work together seamlessly meaning irrespective of these modules being designed separately they are able to work uh, coordinately truly if um, it were compensated by a greater difficulty in coordinating due to the independent uh, independent in the organizations of design modularity would be considered of such a great important and so the modules ability to work together with the other modules in the system becomes really important and hence it drives the uses of standard interface so lastly the three underlying sentence can be discussed all together all system could run the same software further new modules could be added and old ones upgraded so here the question arises again of modules intimately both in terms of an organizational and technical perspective uh, nonetheless they still work together sharing common resources as in this case being a common software due to such independently of the modules new modules can further be added and old ones can be updated so as these modules are independent uh, to each other the entire system can be improved and updated over time through it the simply substituting single uh, or a group of modules so the only conditions here is that the new or upgraded modules contain the same set of standard interfaces so that the system can work as they work seamlessly with the older version even if it is with a higher performance so there are a variety of productions products around us that can be considered as modular at a certain degree currently the use of the pre assembled and assembled modules has become uh, customarily in the automotive manufacturing practice of elements such as the cockpit which incorporate the dashboard with the sound systems ventilation pipes and multiple controls and gadgets that are placed in front of the car's interior so gadgets related with the vehicle's doors that includes power windows uh, latches and sound speakers or loudspeakers and four bumpers including power distance uh, control and headlights such parts are produced independently by different suppliers and then assembled together to offer multiple applications uses to the customer the above mentioned examples reflect the increase in variety of uses that is associated uh, associated with the modular architecture splitting a product into a set of modules helps in increasing the number of possible variations allowing each of these modules to be combined in many different ways the provides this provides an adv advantage not only to the end users but to the producers as well so nevertheless the example of the cars is uh, implicitly based on the existence of the variety limit in the part size and designs not all the parts can fit any given car and could damage a change in the external structures in order to be used this means that the variations obtained through a modular configuration in the product is limited by the overall architecture of these systems so give a certain set of standard interference the um, interfaces the modular variety can be highest variety not the maximum possible variety the main modularity characteristics allows here can be implemented by two 
more definitions. So modularity is about how parts are grouped together and about how groups of parts interference, they inter interact, they communicate with one another. Here the focus is on interactions, communications and grouping of parts. This shifts the attention from physical products to a system where processes like interactions, communication and part grouping can take place. So modularity becomes a matter of language. Finally, modularity is a matter of degree of complexity. A complex system can be modular modular at variety degrees. Then the significant step is to measure the degree to which the system is modular, determining its evolutionary so uh, towards configurations of higher or lower modularity and also identifying the dimensions that drive its temporal evolutions. So now we discuss about advantages of modularity. The advantages of mod modular designs of manufacturing centered on extending the elements of its flexibility and economics of scale that modular products have used to greatly increase the end users experiences integrating flexibility modularity and adaptability into design to provide additional freedom to the adjust and adapt to change the advantages of manufacturing modulars include streamlined suppliers reduce inventory fewer works in process and faster process time as well as component economics of scale easy to product upgrade increase productivity variety from a smaller set of components and decrease order lead time the adjustment of modular concept uh, now we discuss about this so reduction in uh, production product development times so modularity depends on splitting a product into multiple components with clear definitions of the standard interfaces. These interfaces allow the design tasks to be separated and are later combined. The separations reduces the complexity of the overall design and enable design tasks to be performed coincidentally, so which directly influences the product development time and hence the product can be developed faster. So customizations and upgrades, now we discuss about this. So modular products fulfill the requirements of the end users by um, accommodating several functions, components that interact is in a specific manner. These interactions of components allows the products to be improved and upgrade, update over time with the use of more efficient components performing the given functions effectively Further, these components can be replaced or customized to fulfill different functions. So cost effic um, efficiency is due to auto um, armortizations. So modular components can be used in numerous products line meaning that their productions volumes are greater allowing the um, armortizations of the expenses involved with the development over a large number of products so quality modularity enables products tax uh, tax to be able to perform simultaneously these components that are independent can be produced and tested separately before they are integrated into modular product design this helps in improving the overall quality of the product design standardization modular design Facilitated design standardizations by identifying the relative components functions which can be grouped together reducing the uh, incidental interactions between these components and the other parts of the product. So reduction in order lead time modular products can be developed by incorporating standardizations and customized components. This enables to designer to inventory the standard components and then focus on the customizations of the uh, differentiated components for the more modular products can work as a combination of standard components as in the same standard components uh, inventory can be integrated into multiple ways to interact and perform variety of functions that can respond and end users requirements so modularity in products now we discuss about this 
so modular products through the combination of discrete building blocks or modules can be attained various overall functions and these overall functions performed by the product that can be further divided into sub functions that can be incorporated by different modules or components one of the important phase of modular products is the development of a basic core unit to which different modules or elements can be uh, fitted so hence enabling the product of variety of variations of the same modules the core unit needs to to have sufficient capacity to cope with all the variations created with the independent modules and their performance and uses many product systems are modular they can be decomposed into a number of components that can be mixed and matched in a variety of configurations these components are enabled to join indirect or exchange resources like energy or data in some way by cling, um, clinging to a standardized interface unlike a tidy integrated product where each of the components is designed to be working specifically and often exclusively with other specific components in a tidy integrated system modular products are system of components that are loosely coupled so another good examples of a modular product is a personal computer pc a pc consists of uh, multiple varieties of components parts or buildings blocks such as hard drives cpu ram cd rom graphics and cards and many other modules so many of these can be upgraded or changed with little or non modifications to the other modules when needed for example a motherboard of a cpu can be sold with different combinations of processor for example a motherboard of a cpu uh, combination of processors hard drives ram and etc with the use of such modular parts a company can choose from a huge variety of elements and form a product that can meet the end users requirements the modules containing a high number of elements which have minimal uh, dependencies upon a corresponding to other components in the product not only modules and which have a higher degree of dependency upon the correspondence to other components in the modules these uh, dependencies and correspondence include those which emerge from the relationships between the components attributes and those which emerge from the relationship between the components during the various phenomena the components undergo during the life cycle thus in a module each of the components in independent of all the other components that are contained within the same module independent furthermore each components present in a module must go through a similar during each phase of its life cycle similarly to reduce the independencies between the modules which while complete modularity could be seen to be unrealistic expect in the most uh, trivial causes a product that display a higher degree of modularity is more likely to sustain a lower total cycle a life cycle cost especially when examining the entire product family so now we discuss about manufacturing modularity so manufacturing modularity a particular characteristics modularity manufacturing modularity can be defined as the development of the product modularity with minimal dependencies consequent to other components in the product with regard to their manufacturing processes furthermore the components present within the module have minimal similarities to external components and minimal similarities to each other with regard to their manufacturing processes such modularity can emerge from a module that comprises all of all the components present in a product that are injections module so when defining the manufacturing modularity of a product are uh, an important uh, consideration to undertake is the chosen level of abstraction of the manufacturer processes itself the manufacturer of a product comprises of multiple tasks and these tasks are further made up 
of subtaxes. The product could be modular, similar, independent when examined from the viewpoint of the overall manufacturing processes of example injection uh, moduling versus forging but at a certain tax level the structure may not be modular at all which respect to the manufacturing process for example similarly of fixing components within a module and so when relative manufacturing modularity of a product is being defined one must do so with respect to the tax and subtask comprised in the manufacturing processes it's parallel to considering the level of abstractions of the product so finally it's important that the effect of the manufacturing on each product attribute is taken into account by each manufacturing modularity similarly it is important to consider each attribute to the pro of the product components and modules when looking for interactions and independence between components and modules for example the housing of an electric coffee maker which is a modular assembly comprising multiple components and all of the uh, components of the housing are made of the same type of plastic and are manufactured to the have similar tolerance specifications processes the same surface continuations and undergo the same set of manufacturing processes so product attributes include geometry features tolerance surface conditions materials and facilities so now we discuss about three facet of modularity it is important to look at the manufacturing modularity from the viewpoint of creating more modularity product which is a quite different from designing product that have um, reconfigurable a reconfigurable or interchangeable parts it's it's also seen to be quite different from maintaining from functions independence one of the goal of modular design is to combine all attributes with similar processes into a single module and separate them from all other attributes and processes so when creating modular products it is important to ensure that at each level of attri uh, at, uh, abstraction the products attributes remain as independence from each other as possible for each level of attract abstractions of the manufacturing tax and if the dependencies does occur it should occur within a given modules further every attributes within a module the manufacturing processes should be similar the goal of the modular design for manufacturing includes a one-to-one -one form process relationship independence this involves maintaining both uh, both form to form process to process independence and the relationship between the two another important aspects of the modular products is the similar of how the modules and its components are manufactured in addition one more perspective on the independence between the form and the process is similarity the entire modules needs uh, tie undergo the same manufacturing process for each part of the form module the final aspect of the modular design is having minimal varieties of interfaces and interchangeability this is used commonly in the industry today a product must be designed while undertaking the facet of modularity in practice to increase independence and similarity these facet of modularity are commonly known as attribute independence attribute similarity and process independence and process similarity the more unique and independent the components and their manufacturing processes the more modular the concept product attributes uh, similarly is not necessary for modular products as long as attribute independence is preserved and so it is excluded so in a given products many distinct modules can be uh, can have blue components and still remain modular although if the components must all be similar in color then there is a dependencies which reduces modularity so following sir i am discussing about the facet of modular product design with examples so attribute independence first of all we discuss about this so attribute independence the component attributes 
having fewer uh, dependencies on the attributes of the components outside the modules such components and are called external attributes if the dependencies do exist there should be fewer of them and should be dependent on the lesser degree or lesser degree attribute independence produces yield for in independence uh, which enable modularity it allows for the redesigning of a module with a minimized effects on the rest of the product system which further helps in making a product that is more agile in meeting the changing requirements of the end users a large cost um, aluminium components which rest on a plastic box now if there is a change in uh, there is a change in material being heavy iron for a cast component a rib component will be needed inside to do so so therefore both the module will need to be redesigned for the change that should have only effect on one of them so now we discuss about process independence these the manufacturing process of each module are independent or have fewer dependencies on the processes of external components if requires the manufacturing processes that the module undergo be independent of the process that the external components and modules have undergo by one once one more and dependencies that still exist are minimized in critical and number critically and number for example in a given process there are two cast parts that have to be pressed together still in a hot state to be strengthened and bond if one of the process changes related to either of the parts so that there is a different in cooling time the process that the other parts has has to undergo should uh, also be changed so they can be pressed together at the same time so now we discuss about process similarity the produce the number of external components that undergo the same process and create a strong differentiation among these modules it is necessary to group the components and sub assemblies that undergo the same manufacturing process into the same modules for example reinforced plastic components that are used in motorcycle like rear swing rear uh, forks arms wheels and disc can be oven fibers chopped fabrics and slightly to a uh, twisted fiber or a continuous lens of fibers good bonding between uh, between the uh, polymer matrix and the reinforced fiber can only be achieved by coating the reinforcement with polymer all of the components will undergo this specified process so therefore if they were grouped in a single module each of these components that went through this process could be made at a single location and have a uh, similar reactions to any changes com composed in the manufacturing process so this process um, also ensures that the changes to individual cycle life cycle only affect a single module of a product hence conserving redesign energy it can prevent the cascade of design changes caused by small changes in manufacturing process of a product when coupled with the other three facet of modularity so ignoring the rest of the life cycle of product while de uh, designing only for manufacturing modularity is not optimal manufacturing modularity is important manufacturing is one of the most influential part of the product's life cycle as has the largest body of knowledge these factors facilitate facilitated in developing a sound methodology to understand manufacturing modularity hence the having products that are module modular in terms of manufacturing have decreased change time and setup cost better utilizations of productions resources and decrease scheduling complexity 
सो थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियोज़